Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the woods. It's episode 23 of the Rigen ID Wedding Show and we're standing here right outside the woods and it is freezing. So you can obviously see with all of our clothing that it's <laughs> very warm, it's a nice cool day. And um, yeah, we're quite excited to go in and to chat to Maini. This is an incredible win venue just outside of Himansdorp and we've been privileged to have photographed here quite a few times before and we're obviously looking forward to photographing here again but um, we first want to go inside we've also heard some rumors of some exciting new changes and additions I mean this whole entrance is new we haven't seen this before so we're looking forward to chatting to Maini and um, sharing with you what is planned for the future at the woods yes over to Maini <laughs> Maini, thank you so much for joining us on our Regen ID wedding show. It is an honor to be at your wedding, wedding venue, but it is sad to see it just in the shell form because we know it usually looks 100 times nicer after you've had your touch, touch on it. Um, Maini, how did you start in the wedding venue industry? Well, this actually happened by accident, Heidi. Um, I turned 53 years ago. No way. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, we bought the property, my husband bought the property literally just to build a warehouse on it. To yes. ho to, uh, for his tents and I had a hiring company at that stage. And then we by accident got to this little spot. It's a little hidden gem. And then I decided to host my 50th birthday here. But saying that, in the same, um, yeah, somebody got to hear about it in Port Elizabeth, a bride, a potential bride and groom, and they came to have a look. And even before I could host my 50th, they begged me to host the, the wedding year. So yeah, Shannon and Gabriel hosted their wedding year, and within three months, after spotting this spot, we had to. Uh, build and erect and get the venue ready for them. And we haven't looked back since then. Um, word of mouth, it's cascaded. Yeah, so we're very blessed. Oh, that is wonderful. We've also been fortunate enough, Richard and myself, to um, have photographed a couple of weddings here. I can um, totally understand why people, after seeing the photos of friends and word of mouth, want to um, invest and do their weddings in this spot. There's so much potential. It's just a beautiful venue. Um, being in the woods, being a glass marquee, um, there's not many venues like that in our area. So yeah, it is. We, we used can, to be the marquee, but now it's the yes, structure. It's, it's a structure, but you still have that feel of yeah. a of a see-through in the bush yeah. marquee or in the felt marquee. Yeah. Yes. Um, Maini, um, how long in advance uh, does a couple have to book with you guys? I know we're in lockdown, but in normal, in, in normal circumstances. Yes, my advice would be to, as soon as you are engaged, you get engaged, I would recommend view the venues of your choice, Take, make a list, view venues, and as soon as you're happy with your venue, I would suggest make your booking immediately. Um, at this stage, we have basically the first four months of 2021, we're already basically fully booked. Yes, and it's not only us, it's basically all the venues. Um, we've already got bookings for 2022. So yes. if you've got a specific date in mind, I would really recommend that as soon as possible, rather sooner than later. Yes, that is, that is such wonderful news. Um, we love to, to celebrate success with um, our, with the people that we work with in the industry, with um, suppliers. And it's just so wonderful to hear a success story like that. Um, so congratulations on that. Um, Maini, the, the services that you will offer to a client, uh, specifically wedding clients, what, what does it all entail? Okay, we've got a package. It's an all-inclusive package. Or you've got the option to build your own package. If I say package, that's, by that I mean um, it's including all the different areas, whether it's the ceremony, pre-drink and reception area, uh, the food, the uh, harvest table, 
uh, three-course meal, basically. The candles and the flowers, the a coordinator on the day, bartenders, waiters, all of that. It is everything. Inclusive. Yeah. And should you choose to do your own build, your own package? By that I mean you choose, again, the areas that you want to use, and then you can make use of your own caterer, your own florist. And um, we've also got a list with service providers that we can recommend. And we can assist by recommending. If, you, if you're not sure, we can assist. We, in this little area of ours, are actually very blessed with lots of good, good quality service providers. I totally agree. Yeah. I totally so agree. you don't need to outsource and get people from far to, to uh, render services. We're really fortunate with quality people in our yes, midst. I can totally, totally agree on that one. Um, it's you don't have to bring in someone from the city no. to bring in quality. You can, but you don't yeah, have to. You can, to. but you don't have to, totally. And then um, I know you are always expanding and, and revamping and stuff. Is there, some, is there something in the pipeline um, concerning accommodation? Yes, we're actually in the process, we've got a farmhouse and just before lockdown we started to renovate the, the farmhouse and yeah, we've just started now, we can continue again. So we're busy renovating the farmhouse. We can accommodate up to about 20 guests in the farmhouse. That's awesome. Yeah, and these for the brides, they can get dressed there if they want to, do their makeup here, everything, so we've got that. And then I'm also very um, excited because we're busy with a third. We've got two ceremony areas. We've got one at the dam. We've got one under a big tree next to a dam. Mm -hmm. And we're also busy now with a third ceremony area where we're actually going to do a bush chapel. So it's going to be in the bush. Yeah, so I'm very excited about that as well. That so, is wonderful. Yeah, so busy and with all of that. Numbers wise, in the in the, the area that we're standing now, it's it's a big area. It's because you had to provide for all your friends on your fiftieth. Obviously, you have a lot of friends. <laughs> but how many people can the venue, the reception venue, accommodate? We can accommodate anything from ten to two hundred. Okay, so, that is a broad, yeah. broad spectrum. So, yeah, and we host, we can host, yeah, uh, outside weddings where we can supply a Bedouin tent or a clear structured tent if you don't want to use the venue. We've got different areas that you can use should you not want to make use of, of the actual Venue. So the budget is the limit, not the budget. The, yeah. the sky and the budget is the limit. Yes, you can you can do whatever. If your they wish, see a spot, your, your wish, wish is my command. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, Mainly being in the industry so long, um, because you come from a, a decor um, history, and you've got that touch. Um, more on a personal level, what advice would you give a couple that's planning a wedding? I would say my advice would be, first of all, choose a venue, make a list of the, of the venues, view the venues, and the venue will speak to you. You will just know, when you get to a venue, you will just know this is it. And I would also recommend, have a look what they offer, what's included, what's excluded. Um, look at even hidden costs, um, yeah, that sort of thing. and. You, you actually build a relationship with the people, the, 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 the venues uh, uh, staff. See whether there's a connection, whether okay. you can connect with the people. That's, that's my, my advice. And then obviously also I would recommend make a list, go through the day in your head and write it down from point A to point Z exactly. And a timeline is very important. Um, for t so, just so that everyone knows exactly what expected of who and when yes. and, and all of that. So that for me is very important. Okay, that is, that is solid advice. We know how important the timeline is out of a, a photographic point of view. And the connection that you talked about, um, people can look at a venue and they can like it and not get along with the people. 
It's like our photos. If you, you can like our photos, but if you don't get along with us, it, I don't think we're then a good match. Yeah. You must always get along. You, 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 you're going to be with that people the entire day and you must get along with the person, your uh, go-to person on the venue, on the, as, as a photographer. Um, I totally agree with that. Um, it is very, very important for that personal connection to be on par for and a wedding day. I would say trust as well. It's, it's, sure. it's very much trust. Um, and, and I would also recommend once you've chosen your service providers, let go. Trust those people, you pay them after all to give you professional services. So I would say, yeah, don't stress too much. Give it, give it to them, leave it to the professionals. And let it go. Let it go. Like the Frozen song. <laughs> Vani, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it so much and we are hoping for lockdown to just get over with and that we can start doing weddings again and really operate in this space and see it how it's supposed to be um, and we wish you all the luck with all your um, other plans and with the accommodation and everything and thank you so much for your time and for thank the you. for the sherry pleasure can i just mention maybe that i've got a mid week special of course everyone would like <laughs> uh, to hear about yeah, that so if there are any potential clients if they're interested they can email me and i can send them all the relevant information okay and midweek is anything to, that's not in the weekend not yeah uh, i would say anything between a, a tuesday and a thursday preferably not on a, a monday and I'm not on a, a friday okay yeah. and we'll we'll work out something with you on that a midweek special Wonderful. of yours. Yes. So we're in it together. Let's, we'll make let's sure do it. We'll make sure that all your detail is in the the tick box below. Um, your website detail, your Facebook detail. There are so many beautiful photos uh, of photos that we did of weddings. Um, other photographers did of uh, weddings. So any potential client that goes and click on your uh, Facebook page, for instance, will. The, the photos will speak for itself. I mean, Wonderful. and if they get here and they meet you, they will know that it is peaceful and you've got it. You're a professional person and I think you're wonderful in your industry. Thanks. Thanks, Adi. Thanks for your time. You and Rich, thank you so much. It's really been a privilege. It's Thanks. a big pleasure. And I can't wait for the brides to come. Me neither. Pop some champagne, bro. Yes, yes. Let's yes. cheers yes. again. <laughs> now we're going to drink. <laughs> Maini, it was lovely seeing you again. I think um, when we started this program, we didn't realize it because we were still in full lockdown yeah. and we had to Zoom um, to um, have a guest on. And that feels like months ago. What, yeah, <laughs> a lifetime ago. Um, what's, what's so nice now is we can actually see the suppliers and our friends in and person. colleagues in yeah. person. And that is, that for me uh, is it's something that I look forward to. And I think what's amazing places. is seeing what everyone's up to. So it's amazing how all of the venues aren't just sitting back and doing nothing. They are literally improving and Constantly. bettering the facilities. Um, I mean, many talk now about new plans that they have. I mean, you can see they're working, but new plans they have for another ceremony area. So. Jeez, I mean, we, we, we'll need to come back here as well and come and have a look. Yes. And I think we just need to tell everyone that right where we're standing now is where the brides and grooms normally say their I do's, yeah. you know, with this beautiful view behind you. So, I mean, what more can you want than this? So, like I said previously, it's a pity we're already married. <laughs> I'm very glad that we're already married. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. It's Friday, so um, we'll all have an awesome weekend and we'll be back on Monday and um, stay safe and remember to subscribe and when we get to a thousand subscribers we'll be giving away that Rich and Adi family lifestyle or couple shoot to the value of 3,000 Rand and all you have to do is just be a subscriber. Is that all? Yeah, what do you want to do? I, I'm, I'm watching that clock. Um, it's usually the clock the that, yeah, the bell that, it's only ring when, when right, someone is right, getting right, married. Right. Okay, yeah. but, but I, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. Thinking. And that's a wrap. Chicka chicka chin. <laughs>